Hey, what's up, YouTube? TFGuy86 here with another Transformers review. Today I'll be reviewing Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse Commander Hatchet. Uh, Hatchet's real cool. He's like a navy blue, um, gold, and silver plane. I know it kind of looks black here, but to me the plastic looks more like a dark, dark blue instead of a black plastic. Um, underneath, there's not too much. You can see his torso and his arms. Uh, but other than that, everything's pretty much well hidden. There's a nice little Decepticon uh, logo right right there on the tail fin, I guess that's called. Um, he does have these two weapons. Uh, right now, they're just these little missile drone thing, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but you do flip that out, and you have a little Gatling gun. Like that. And then the other one, you get uh, like a little laser beam gun thing. So uh, just set those off to the side for now. First thing you want to do is flip up the landing gear. And you want to take these parts right here. You want to fold them over like that to uh, kind of make the arms. And next, what you want to do is you want to fold this up bring the arms down just like that uh, go ahead and swivel them around and flip the hands up then come around back here and you want to untab this section right here uh, that kind of exposes his tail and you want to snap the waist down a little bit like that then you want to fold this out and then that down fold this out and then that down and now you have hatchets feet then you can go ahead and extend the nose cone so now, now he has his fully extended tail and then go ahead and open this flip out his head, if I can, uh, if I can get it, oh, you might have to, no, you don't have to um, open that yet, but if I can get it, flip out the, the head, it is a little tricky to get out, because you have to kind of get your nail under this little tiny tab, oh, there we go, and then flip this in like that, and then you can close this up and here we have hatchet in his robot mode oh and you can uh, take the the weapons and plug them right back up there so there we have hatchet in robot mode or beast mode actually because he looks more like a animal than a robot um, very cool uh, now you kinda see the gold paint start to show more um, all around pretty much he's got his you know the shoulders on the arms over here the face is gold uh, very evil and menacing looking. It's like that. Uh, the claws kind of add to it too if you can get them get them posed like this. Um, pretty cool. This is the very last Dark of the Moon figure I will be reviewing um, because Soundwave and Wheeljack are not going to be released, sadly. Um, he's got lots of posability. You can uh, swivel the arms and there's a ball joint in there. Um, bends at the elbow. If you want to count this as wrist articulation, you can. Um, that's pretty much it. There's really not much to him. Just a neat little figure. Oh, I would have rather they made him and Crowbar. Well, Crowbar was a little Legion figure. But I would have much rather they made him like an SUV deluxe like they did with Crankcase. But, uh, I mean, this is cool, too, because he's, he's a lot um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I just like the design of the figure. Um, but he's real cool. If you can still find one, pick one up. And uh, as for announcements, Hunt for the Decepticon Sunspot will probably be uploaded directly after this. And there will be a special announcement video sometime this week. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.